Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Uh, as you saw a second ago, as we were going to break on our downtown sky cam, a little drizzly out there. It was a little foggy. Well, it's because we're starting to get some rain showers moving on through. Nothing major out there. We haven't seen more than about a tenth of an inch of rain overall throughout the afternoon, and that's about all we've seen. However, uh, we are still getting some showers moving on through right now. We're seeing most of that line basically working its way from oh, right outside of Agate Beach as you go across 20 out towards Corvallis, slicing southward through the Eugene Springfield area. We'll start to see that clear as you get up towards Thurston and Marcola, and a little further south as well. Myrtle Point on down towards Canyonville. Myrtle Creek also looking at a few lightly scattered showers. Now, snowfall. Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Nowhere at this point. In fact, snow lines have been holding way above the passes at around five to 6,000 feet. Now, there is a chance we will get those to fall some, and we will get some snow, but Renee and I mentioned it last night. We were just talking about it at 5 o'clock. We can't get it to stick. The problem is, is the only spot we really have is up around Mount Bachelor because they're higher elevation, above 6,000 feet. Everybody else, though, it's there, and then it just kind of melts as we get some of the warmer air. And, in fact, that's what we saw today. Highs back in the 40s across the Bend, Redmond area out towards Sisters today. Low 50s to mid-50s as you get to the coast, and everybody here in the valley also finally got back into the 50s as well. Throughout the rest of the afternoon on our uh, sky cam there, you can see we had some light showers move on through as we go through the time lapse so far this evening. It's been mainly just some of the low clouds hanging around. And the temperatures, once again, will stay relatively mild tonight, holding in the 40s. Overnight tonight, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. I think we'll clear out some, but then it'll be quickly before the clouds start to move back in. And that'll be the beginning of a much healthier storm that's headed in our direction. Overnight tonight, I'm going to keep a mention of a few lights scattered showers in there that'll mainly be before midnight as lows will approach right around 40 degrees. Right now, we're sitting well, just a few degrees cooler than where we were. Everybody right at about 48 degrees, now sitting at around freezing as you get out towards Bend and Sisters. So there's our storm. And again, it's still pretty far offshore. You can see we're way over here and we're talking about this big area of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska, but you can see all the moisture that's being pulled in with it. And this is all headed in our direction. So this will be the bigger storm as we head in towards Thursday night and Friday. So that's when the main line of that will come through. Look some decent snow for the both Washington and Oregon Cascades, and then we'll get a bit of a break by Friday afternoon. Another one starts to ramp up behind that. That one also will come through for our Saturday. So a wet end to fall as we officially kick off winter on Sunday. Question is, fingers crossed, so we can get some of that snow to hold at least for a couple of days so the ski resorts can try to get it groomed down. So we'll go breezy. Rain late for the coast tomorrow. For the Umpqua, we're talking probably after 6, 7 o'clock at night, and highs will be in the low to mid-50s. Right around freezing at both of the passes, and so that's going to make sort of a sloppy rain-snow mix at times, and the snow level's rising 6,000 feet, mostly cloudy, late rain in central Oregon in the mid 40s and right around 50 degrees for us here across the valley and will be a little wet by the time you get ready in for dinner tomorrow night. For the coast, showers all the way in through the weekend and even into early next week, Tuesday, about the only really dry day before there's more rain for Christmas Eve. Uh, scattered shower chances throughout the Umpqua as well throughout the rest of the week. Temperatures will stay mild in the mid 50s. The snow, 6 to 10 inches on Saturday, but then look at that. We're back up into the upper 30s, so that's 6 to 10 inches of sloppy messiness. And then here in the Willamette Valley, we'll go low 50s to upper 40s. Winter official kicking off the end of the weekend, guys, and then I don't think we're going to see a lot of dry time there before old Chris Kringle starts to move back in <laughs> on Wednesday. He waves and everything. He's just letting you know he's coming. Nice of him to stop by. That's Thank right. you, Justin. You're done. Coming up after